Welcome to Life Impact TV. I'm Sean Brickell, the founder of Life Impact TV and the Life Impact System, which are designed to help you be more successful in your work and non-work lives, helping you achieve the real life results you so want by applying proven, practical and psychological confidence and communication skills. Now I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to give an honest answer to yourself. Are you, when talking or communicating in business or your non-business life, are you a charismatic communicator or are you a cowardly communicator? Now, the vast majority of people would probably say, yeah, I, I, to a lesser or even greater extent, I am, in fact, a charismatic communicator. When the reality is, as I know, and you know from your personal and professional experiences, far too many people are, in fact, cowardly communicators, especially in business. So what are the traits of a cowardly communicator? And is this you? Trait number one. And there are several, but let's going to give you just a few examples. Trait number one is when there is a delicate, difficult, or even damning message to communicate, they invariably get somebody else to do it for them because they don't have the guts to say what they've got to say to the person who needs to hear it. And sometimes they don't say anything at all. What happens? The problem festers. It creates a problem for the person on the receiving end because they don't change their behavior or deal with the situation they need to face up to. And it's bad for you because, the, because both the person who's on the receiving end and the person, if you delegate it, doesn't respect you for not having the guts to communicate a difficult, delicate, or damning message. Secondly, a lot of cowardly communicators are not clear on what they mean. They tend to water their message down, dilute their message, because they're afraid of the impact it might have. They don't have the courage to say, look, this is the reality, so they water it down. And if you want to cloud your communication, it can lead to confusion. And that confusion, in turn, can lead to a corrosive, have a corrosive effect on the people you have to communicate with who need to hear the messages. And likewise, you need to hear what their feedback is as well. And if nothing is said, it creates uncertainty and that sort of corrosion. And in the end, it can be self-perpetuating. So it can be communication, in some cases, commercial catastrophe. And that's no good. Thirdly, cowardly communicators don't back themselves to be charismatic, convincing and colourful and engaging and charm their audience, convince them and do so compellingly. They're often, particularly in business presentations, far too many people rely on PowerPoint and similar visual aids to, um, to get them through a presentation. Uh, not their audience, because the audience doesn't manage to get through it invariably. And what they do, they pack, they use sort of uh, devices like PowerPoint as their sort of crib sheet. And they've crowned basically years worth of doomsday book worth of detail into these slides. You've got like 300 bullet points per slide. You know, and the words get so small you can barely see it, no matter how good your eyes are, you need binoculars, by which point you've lost interest anyway, and how often do you take binoculars to, to business presentations? And what happens is PowerPoint and these other visual aids should be there to enhance you and your presentation, not envelop you and your presentation. And what it does is create a distance between you and the audience who need to hear your message, with whom you need to communicate. And with that distance, they become disinterested and then disenfranchised from you and all you're about. And they don't back themselves to think whether or not I've got PowerPoint or any other visual aids, I'm going to get my message across. And even if I don't have PowerPoint, I don't trust myself to be as convincing, as colourful and as charismatic as I potentially can be. So what are the traits of a charismatic communicator? Well, first of all, they have courage. They face up to whatever communication challenge they have, no matter how daunting it might be, how difficult it might be. And they back themselves to communicate their message in a way the audience will relate to. Secondly, they, they have clarity in their thinking and in their delivery, whether written or spoken. They're clear on the outcome of the audience they're speaking to. They're clear on their outcome as the communicator. And therefore, when they speak with that clarity, they're more likely to be convincing. Thirdly, and particularly this applies when you have to have those necessary but difficult conversations with particularly work colleagues, but it applies throughout your life they speak with compassion. They have compassion. So the audience feels they care. And if you're giving a difficult message to somebody, if they feel you generally care, not that you're pretending to care, but you generally do care, and you can relate to them and understand them, they're more likely to accept it and admire you too, and therefore act upon what you're communicating to them. And fourthly, they speak with colour. They bring their presentations to life. They don't need PowerPoint or too many visual aids. The visual aids are there to enhance but not envelop their presentation. But they know they could stand and talk for five minutes, 50 minutes, five hours without any visual aids and they back themselves to, uh, to give a great presentation because they speak with colour, with the stories they use. And they're not afraid to use colour. Rather than be dry and as so many corporate presentations are, they speak with colour. If you can be 
and are determined to be, and with the great life impact skills that we give people, you can be a very charismatic communicator. And if you're a charismatic communicator, you will have a much greater impact in your work and non-work lives. And if you have that greater impact, you will be more persuasive. And if you are more persuasive, you will achieve what you and others want to. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Life Impact TV. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like this channel, then please subscribe with the link you see now on the screen. And please share it. I'd really shout about it to your family, your friends and your colleagues. I'd really appreciate it as much as I hope they would too. And if you want access to even more great resources to help you succeed more in your life using proven personal impact skills, then also click on the other link you see now on your screen. And remember this, that you can achieve what's really, really important to you in your life especially with the right confidence and communication skills. But what you have to decide is simply what you want to achieve to make you feel truly fulfilled. And then, as you so often discover how little you have to dare to achieve the success, the happiness, and the fulfillment you so richly deserve. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again next time on Life Impact TV.